Is the transfer portal making college football players soft? Our group thinks so. Let's talk about it. Hey there, this is Coach Stark from Trench Training, and today I just want to talk a little bit about the transfer portal. Uh, it's been in the news the last couple of days with thousands of kids now entering the transfer portal this season. We have a, an opportunity to see the face of college football really changing, and we're already seeing that over the course of the last couple of years with coaches bringing players, uh, teams going from really not being very relevant at all to uh, being in the mix for a college football playoff. Uh, with a ton of transfer kids. So it's really changing the face of our game at the college level. But I think the thing that's not discussed enough, and we've talked about this as a staff over the last couple of days, is what it's doing to the actual players. And we say, you know, it may be making them soft. And what I mean by that is I think that a lot of these kids are going into their college career expecting to jump right in and play. You know, they're believing all of the hype that they're seeing on social media. Of course, college coaches are telling them what they want to hear. I mean, that's just been part of recruiting forever, right? But you still have to go and earn a spot. You still have to go and put the work in to become a starter at any level that you play at. You had to do it in high school. You're going to have to do it in college. If you want to play in the NFL at the next level, you're going to have to do it there too. So I think what we're seeing is... We're seeing kids that go in unprepared to, to work and put in what it takes in order to become a starter and a relevant player on a team. And what we're seeing is we're seeing kids that say, oh, I'm not going to play. It's my first year. I'm still not going to play. Uh, year two, I, I don't have that good of prospects. I don't think I'm going to be able to work hard enough to do this. I'm going to go look for an easier opportunity to play. And I think that really is a detriment to college players right now because when they're doing this, they're not developing, right? So when we were in college, way back in the 90s, I'm really old, uh, but when we were in college, you had to work week in, week out to, to earn a spot, but to also keep your spot. There was always competition. They're always bringing in new guys, and there's always going to be competition at positions. If there's not, your team's not growing and your team's not getting better. But for crying out loud, we saw a kid this past weekend who got benched in a championship game, a conference championship game on a Saturday and entered the portal on a Monday. And I just think we're, we're, this is sending the wrong message to kids at all levels about putting in hard work, sticking with something, making a commitment. Not to mention these guys that come in that are, you know, high-level athletes that are getting a ton of NIL money right up front as a freshman, and they jump out and decide to go into the portal and seek more money in an NIL deal somewhere else, that university is investing in a player. And and listen, I know there are going to be people that say, oh, it's, it's big business, that's the way it works now, and I understand all that, but I think the message that it teaches is wrong. Because I think the other thing we have to think about, a lot of these kids with over 3,000 kids going into the portal, how many of those kids are not going to get another opportunity? How many of those kids, maybe they're Division I players, are not going to get a Division I offer? They may have to go down to Division II. They may have to go down to Division Three. They may not get an offer at all. So if when kids make these decisions, they have to be prepared. This might be the last college game I ever play. I may never make it onto another college team. So I, I think that what that does is it changes the mindset of our kids that, you know, I don't have to keep working hard. I can just go look for another opportunity. And these are lessons that we learn in football about how to work with others, how to be coachable, how to be a good teammate, how to lead others. These are, these are lessons that we're not learning if we don't put in the work year after year. So Again, I know that the transfer portal has its benefits for players and for programs, but I also think it's gotten away from what it was meant to be. You know, and, and now it's become something where pretty much any player who feels like they might have an opportunity somewhere else 
can just jump without any consequence. And I think taking that consequence away has really changed the face of recruiting and college football as we as we know it. So uh, again, I'm not saying that there aren't opportunities and there aren't good things for the for the portal, but it's really changing our game, and I, and we're really concerned about how it's affecting players. And we we talked to our players that are in our trench training uh, program in the off season. We talk to them all the time about about recruiting things and and try to answer questions and try to introduce them to the coaches that we know and that we're networked with. Uh, and it's really a changing changing environment out there. So I, I just wish all these kids good luck. I hope they find homes. Uh, I hope that it doesn't stunt their development. Uh, and I hope I'm wrong about it. But um, I think we're going to have to see some change in order to really preserve the game uh, and, and not get it you know, so far out there because it, it seems like the Wild West out there right now. So I hope you found some value with this video. Uh, we just wanted to make sure we got this opinion out there. We're, 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 you know, we, we're all about the, the kids and, and trying to help them as much as we can, uh, especially at the high school and youth levels. And um, this is, these are things that they're going to have to deal with in the upcoming years uh, as they get older and develop and, and try to play college football. So again, uh, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, there's a link down in the description to our four-part uh, punch progression series, completely free. Just enter your name and email uh, after you click the link, and you'll get that uh, in your email inbox with access to that four-part punch progression series. Uh, hope you guys will like it. Uh, again, till next time, play big.